Every year in the U.S., there are about 25,000 new kidney transplant performed and about 250,000 people living with a kidney transplant. And getting a transplant is literally a life-saving moment, but that's only the beginning. I remember waking up in the, in the hospital after my surgery. My biggest fear was the meds, because I know from day one when I started uh, the process for a transplant, they said how important it is to take your meds and not miss a single dose of your meds. If somebody says take a pill for this, I am totally against it. But I do what I have to do to survive. I'm probably taking upwards of 15, 16 pills a day. Anyone who goes through this is going to have thoughts about would a medication work. When I received my kidney transplant at 19 years old, it was really overwhelming. I had to adjust to taking about 40 pills a day and didn't know what they were, how they were impacting my body. And then if you fast forward 16 years later, I received a liver transplant. There were similar concerns afterwards of rejection and what my future would look like. The mission of Alaris is we want to remove the guesswork from medicine. Despite all the advances that we've had in science, it's still pretty challenging to know what the best treatment is for an individual patient. But the good news is that in all of us, there are biomarkers that can relay that information. And that's what we want to do at Olaris. We want to leverage the power of metabolomic biomarkers to be able to provide more confidence that whether it's you, your patient, someone you love is on the right treatment. And if they're not, that we can guide them to the best possible option for them at that moment in time. I have gotten labs at least once a month for the past 23 years. They are a huge part of my life. And there is not one month that goes by that I don't have anxiety surrounding getting labs. I, I keep close tabs on it, just looking at it all the time and analyzing my numbers, how they have changed over the last year since the transplant, what they were before it. Uh, I, I look at the numbers a lot. I watch my labs like a hawk. When you have a disease, when you're going through this, where you dealt with depression, anxiety, Olaris is revolutionary because not only will it tell you the status, it's going to give you something that's very important. It's going to give you peace of mind. If you're just responding to the classical clinical biomarkers, you're never really sure if the graft is doing well. We are actually in desperate need of biomarkers that could avoid that biopsy and give us the information that we want. The problem with a biopsy, although it's the gold standard currently, is that it may not tell you what's going on in the whole kidney. And it is quite common to overtreat a patient and to go from having acute rejection, treating the acute rejection and developing some consequence of overtreating the patient and developing an over immunosuppressed uh, situation. Our first product, Myolaris KTDX, is a non-invasive urine-based laboratory developed test that's offered through our CLIA lab that is used for the surveillance of kidney graft injury. It can detect and differentiate stable graft, borderline rejection, subclinical and clinical rejection, as well as over immunosuppression due to palomavirus associated nephropathy. Outside of a biopsy, it's the only assay that can do that. Metabolomics in comparison with other biomarkers currently available, it gives you a real-time, real-life snapshot of what is going on in the patient. The information, the input that you get from the Eularis KTDX can guide you that when you're reducing immunosuppressive therapy, you can actually make yourself a picture of where you are in terms of your degree of immunosuppression. Having a urine test is so huge in comparison to an individual going through a biopsy, and I think that that's underestimated. After I received my kidney transplant and I had immediate rejection and needed a biopsy, I had just gone through the procedure and the operation was an immediate recovery. And now to think of having to do a biopsy was extremely scary. And then I also experienced a similar situation post liver transplant. I think this really illuminates the value of the work that Olaris is doing. Unlike other biomarkers, let's say DNA, which are pretty static, metabolites change and evolve depending on what's going on inside of us. And so part of the power of Myolaris KTDX test is that not only can we identify graft injury, but we can differentiate whether it's coming from under immunosuppression or over immunosuppression, which helps mitigate the risk that someone might get the exact opposite treatment that they need. So I took the medications on blind faith. Now fast forward, I learned that the immunosuppressive medications that I take 
are really nephrotoxic. They're bad for my kid. As a result of what I went through, I felt that we could do a better job, and we can. So with individual patients, it's really difficult to know if you have the right level of immunosuppression. One of the issues that we have is that we can quite easily over immunosuppress our patient population. For me personally now, uh, I'm dealing with the side effects of being on prednisone for over two decades. And I think, okay, if there were tools like this available when I was younger, maybe I wouldn't have been on such an intense level of immunosuppression medicine and I wouldn't be dealing with these long-term effects. The use of metabolomics to profile a transplanted kidney could tell you a lot about the detailed process of what's going on within the kidney. It could provide signatures of over and under immunosuppression. We just tweaked my meds now. I just had Mo surgery, which is a skin cancer surgery. We modified my meds based on, mainly because my immune system is not strong enough with all the meds. So having that information, uh, especially in my current situation, tremendous. And I'm looking forward to results from uh, the Olaris test that I just took. Olaris is focused first and all on science, the utility and the feasibility of the test. It is put to the most stringent quality control. As a clinician, a collaboration with Olaris is built on trust and knowing that, you know, only the highest standards will be sought out. Any sort of urinary test would be able to tell us uh, what's going on currently and we could redo it in a week's time or in two weeks time or three weeks time you could do it as much as you wanted to do. It could be very useful in helping us tailor the immunosuppression in our transplanted patient population. Precision medicine and the diagnostic capabilities of what Olaris is providing is revolutionary. Thank God for the folks like Liz who had her heart set on being able to change the status quo.